Okay. Uh, again, a bit of a slow feed, but uh, we're going to get started. It's uh, 525. Uh, my apology, this took a little bit longer than I expect. I was trying to get a couple things set up, none least of which is, is uh, one of these uh, Wi Fi pucks. Uh, this one is a Skyroam and uh, pretty handy. I got it to finally got it to work. Not quite intuitive, um, but not, uh, not a real challenge either. So if, uh, if you need something that gives you a mobile hotspot, um, you know, take it to the beach, uh, take it to, uh, on, on a trip, you name it, uh, pretty handy. I use these, um, when I get to a hotel room, when I'm on travel, because I don't like uh, tapping in very much to the uh, hotel uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, and then around uh, everybody in my travel party party with uh, with this, and then uh, we kind of control our own destiny. All right, so uh, let's check around the board here a little bit. Um, Looking at the email, I don't see anything new here. Look like I uh, got caught up. Um, some of you have turned in uh, some late work, and I appreciate that. I will um, continue looking at them, and we'll grade them. For the rest of you, uh, same thing holds true. Go into the grade book, and where you see an empty grade uh, or no grade, or what you think. Hmm. Excuse me. Sorry about that. What you think is an incorrect grade? Uh, come back and let me know. Now, I'll caveat this on one thing: there will not be any grades showing up in the grade book for your chapters. All right. Uh, so, the way it it looked like it was setting up was I was to grade the chapters and then grade the paper. Well, that's that's double grading. And uh, the dean said that's not correct. So I apologize for the confusion. But basically, what will happen is I'll grade your final. Okay, that will show up now. This is a great skip an event. Uh, that's why the syllabus sets it up for you to do uh, a variety of chapters, chapters one through five, beginning week three, obviously, chapter one, and then uh, bringing you up to current this week. But what that allows you to do is to get a jump start on paper instead of trying to crank out a 25 page paper the night before it's due, you will now have had a series of chapters set up. Now, what is the advantage to you for that? Well, the advantage to you for that, outside of just time, is, excuse me, I'm sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, what it allows to do is, I will go in and I'll look at your chapters. Uh, I won't be grading them but I will give you feedback. And that feedback will be as to whether or not it looks to me like you're meeting the requirement. And if you're re meeting the requirement, how well are you meeting the requirement? So you might get feedback that says, hey, this is tracking along very well. But right now, it would be an A, okay? Uh, conversely, it could be you're not you're not meeting the, the, the requirement. And I just have the way I see. Okay, do you see what I'm getting at? So again, um, not technically great, okay, uh, but giving you the option or the benefit of at least a set of eyes. All right, so um, so let's go through again. Uh, LDR for this is uh, which is hard to do, which means we're in a crunch time. So we've been through uh, Bill Marriott Jr.'s book about reservations and uh, the leadership secrets of. Your assignments have been good. Again, as uh, much as you can use an example. Use examples from the book and expand upon those using principles that you learned in your leadership classes. All the better. So, as an example, here in this, in a uh, Uh, okay, and uh, if I did a decent job, you found at least um, 
one aspect. Yeah, it was very good. Um, and what did I do? I must slept in the bag. But Howard decision in Marriott, uh, your chapter reading for that week laid out five points uh, on how they made decisions. Okay, they had a process. And I combined. Excuse me. Uh, using that framework. Okay. And that is um, one of the things that Marriott says is do your own. Okay. In other words, I just know about the decision that needs before making the decision. You won't have perfect information, but you'll have the best available. Okay. Um, if you take this one step further, and then I'm not using, I uh, provided you by the uh, college uh, football team, Alabama uh, football team, uh, head coach Nick Saban is back in the Marine Corps and in all the branches of service. Like, a decision making process. <laughs> when we receive an order, we have to process that order and then do its base elements and then figure out how it is we're going to attack that uh, particular problem or defend it or whatever. It is. All right, so as you look in my response, uh, I'm going to use Nixon quote, okay? I see the previous uh, for the command and staff program. Uh, we devote a significant time in that uh, course year. Uh, they have is a year. We said probably spent a good uh, three and a half months of one of those years. <coughs> um, decision making process. Well, we call it a planning process. You know, the uh, also, decision making process. Uh, it's not all. Uh, the world that joins the application. Use a different type of process. Um, but within the Marine Corps, uh, within the military, there are combatants, those that we lost, uh, civic and command, command etc., um, have various missions that they've been given. And they uh, essentially do a lot of plans uh, for whatever feasible scenario uh, there could possibly be. It's not to say it ever will happen. In most cases, it will not. But your military has to be prepared to do certain things. And so it would not surprise you to learn that uh, one combat command has a plan uh, for America to uh, take over you know, country, okay? uh, whatever it is. Well, not to get into details and not to get everybody else hold up. That's not to say we ever would. There's an authorities and a lot of checks, balances, and others. The idea is, is to have a plan in place that you can take off the shelf and utilize as well as a single time. Your people understand how you're organized and are going to make news and get support uh, with your information in the end. If people understand what it is you're doing, and, and as you many have picked up in the South, are the beings, as much as they can buy in by their own principles, by their own desires, and the like. Then the, the smoother this whole thing will be, which is what we want in the long run. Okay, there's uh, a uh, Russell Acoff. Okay, uh, Acoff, uh, middle water, uh, will crank out many, many, many books, organizational development, many. Uh, Sir World War II as a, uh, as a quote, I believe, and then uh, came out and set up the scrap. Probably one of the more uh, respected operations and organizational development uh, men there are. Okay, the four ways he treats the problem is you can absolve it. In other words, we're going to just ignore it. Hopefully it goes away. Um, and that's, you know, that's hopeful. Okay, some of you act that way. I know uh, some problems act that way. Uh, you can resolve it. Which is, um, a, a clinical approach on something uh, within the framework, diagnose and treat it, okay, to a satisfactory outcome. In other words, you're looking at a variety of symptoms and then treating the symptoms. Okay, if you can alleviate the pain, uh, it doesn't matter if you got found the exact cause of the problem, uh, if you got the ability to manage through it. Solve it, okay, by the by what this word word says. Okay, instead of just treating the symptoms, you're going in, no kidding, finding out what the problem is, and then fixing that problem. Okay, and then in the end, the last one dissolve it. Blow up the system, throw the baby out with the bathwater, whatever. Uh, metaphor you want to use, uh, we're just going to go ahead and completely do away uh, with whatever it is we're doing. We're going to start all over again. Okay? So, all that, wash my hands, uh, resolve it. In the military, we joke out this. This is 
uh, I go out and I get an injury while I'm uh, conducting physical fitness or um, where I'm out in the field. And uh, I think I've broken my ankle. And I call the corpsman up, and the corpsman hands me two Motrin, uh, some ibuprofen, and, and uh, tells me to change my socks, um, take these pills, and, and we'll uh, move out. Again, uh, treating the symptoms, okay? And then solve it. Again, we're, uh, we're getting okay to figure out what the problem is. And then the other one is dissolve. Okay? We work on making decisions and, and gaining that buy-in as Watson put in his book. We make sure we understand that uh, this is all around the leader. Okay, you set this up. You set this organization up. You set the situation up to where it either uh, succeeds or fails. Now, let me be honest with you. This is not like when the President of the United States goes over to a foreign country and eats with a foreign head of state. Okay, so now you'll see. Uh, they'll meet, they'll come out with an agreement, and they both sign it, and everybody's happy, and off we go. Now, if you think the President of the United States traveled all that distance to actually come up with an agreement, uh, you're sadly mistaken. And those agreements have already been set up, and there's no way the President of the United States didn't travel if that agreement isn't already in place. Okay, you just can't risk the uh, bad press. And that's not a safe approach. That just makes sense. And the same vein is for you and your boss as you're deal with seniors, you'll have situations where they don't believe you or, uh, or they think you're a crackpot of whatever dimension. Now, all I offer to you is, is uh, you know, watch where your room is, watch uh, watch what the bosses are doing. If they're heavily drinking, then it's probably not a good idea to be around. If uh, you don't have a buddy, you just well have time to find one uh, in this particular case. And then uh, make sure that you got somebody who's not afraid to use a weapon and, uh, and is going to let people know. Okay, I see what you did there. Um, you know, I just lost who that was. Okay. Uh, you know, anyway, let's move it along. Okay, so uh, ethical, a uh, positive role model, signal what matters by their behavior. Boy, that right there needs to be highlighted. Okay. What you allow will only continue. Okay. The depth at which your culture is going to rot uh, is highly dependent what you bring to the fight. Okay. All right. Uh, so what we look for? Looking for a plane? Uh, talking to uh, one of the man who just joined us. All right. So how to act like a moral leader is one of my, uh, one of my favorites. I think it's uh, maybe one of yours. Yes. Um, All right. A little bigger. I look cool going up later. Get her with me. All right. Um, sorry, I'm going to slide it. Okay. You want to read this to uh, hold up. If you have any uh, issues or questions or concerns, uh, now's the time to give them to me. Okay. Uh, again, I'll work this week. And then, uh, you know, we'll wrap up the scenes. I don't have a long term and get it back to you. Uh, so, what'll happen is I'll do a quick turn and, uh, and I'll grade them. And that usually takes me three reads to grade each paper. Yes, I read each paper. I read three times. And then um, that helps me understand a little bit better of what uh, what you've done, how much effort you put into this. Okay. But I said that I'm after is um, the first one. General Mess. Yeah, it's titled... Uh, Set ethical tone and how to act like a moral leader. Okay. All right. 
along with employees, partners, customers, vendors, and shareholders. Okay, again, remember those decisions you're making um, go far and wide. And people will see how you uh, operate. Okay, if they learn that you technically uh, hand out more eggs as traffic violations, as an example, <laughs> and you have more tickets, then uh, and they got a better idea in ident identification of a dynamic view. All right, there we go. Okay, accurate uphold high moral principles. Most of right. Instead of your primary factors. Okay, set the example. Be honest. You should feel an adequate. All right, well, go ahead and get your uh, set up. Okay, so final slide was getting to, um, well, the last the moral leader is that this single board factor in ethical decision making in organizations whether leaders show commitment to ethics in their talk, especially their behavior. In other words, getting an oper operation through a position is uh, not to be shaped only by those dynamic. Um, and then it is actually never seen. All right. That's been it. Yeah, it's time he's called in. So I'm going to call him out here. Uh, again, if there's any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I uh, appreciate uh, everybody's attention. Continue to get through this here in about uh, two weeks. And then uh, I'll do some mission, which I uh, the very best one I'll talk about later. Next week, uh, may lose you to another class. I have you, but just understand, I really valued our time uh, together. Believe me, I got more out of you. Than you got out of me. I, uh, your insights and your ability to look at things in a fresh and different perspective. Uh, only, uh, only assist me to be better. Okay. And so for that, I say thank you, and uh, have a good night.